Want to learn how I turn my dusty old fitted cap into some bust down magnificence? Well, this is the perfect video for you. Let's get it and let's go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys are in the market for custom goods that I make with 100% authentic materials, I'm running an early sale on my website, which is going to give you guys 20% off all of my custom goods. Just use the code 20 off. The link will be down below in the description if you guys would like to support. All right, let's get it. So I had this old Yankees fitted cap. It was actually collecting some dust. That's why it looks the way it does. And I didn't have a lint roller, so pardon me on that. But I've had this cap for a minute and I felt like, you know what? Let's go ahead and make a tutorial and show y'all how to spice your caps up for the purpose of today's video we're going to be using these gems from amazon you can get this from a variety of places i know Swarovski is a really high quality crystal but if you guys want to go the amazon route it gets there in about a day or two the link will be down below this pack came with a pencil and i ended up breaking the tip of it so i had to fix it just be careful because when you pull that sleeve off the tip it's pretty easy to break and let's be honest i haven't touched a sharpener since middle school so yeah that's that we're also going to be using E6000, the clear version. The first thing we got to do is dump the jewels out. And as you guys can see, there's a top side of the jewel and there's a back side. So the top side, of course, is, you know, the bust down look. And then the back side is flat. Now, personally, I believe that the smallest jewels look best. And I'm only going to be using the smallest jewels. If you want to mix and match with bigger jewels, smaller jewels, that's completely up to you. We're going to start off with a very light layer of this E6000. One thing I would recommend is let the bottle hang over the plastic part of the packaging. This glue is known for for oozing out so it might as well just ooze out over the container and not your beautiful countertop you don't want to go too heavy but you also don't want to go too light so you want to find that median right you want to make sure that you have enough glue so it sticks but you don't want it to be gushing and doing all this crazy stuff all over the place what from there it's very simple lay each jewel one by one this is the ultimate test of patience young squire and you know what they say patience is a virtue So ladies and gentlemen, if you successfully complete this custom without going insane, breaking anything, or quitting, you can use this video and use me to vouch for you and say that you have the patience to be with your potential significant other. That's how you know your relationship material. One of the tips I would like to share is to press the jewels in with your finger. You can only do so much with the pen, but when you press it with your finger, apply a little bit of pressure. It just lets the glue sit in and ensures that you get that nice bond. Not James Bond, just the nice glue bond. Now at this point we have that half half look and I was actually digging it. I was like, yo, this is actually kind of fire. If it was up to me, I would have left it like this, but we're doing a video. So I'm gonna bust down this whole thing for you guys. This entire process took me about an hour and a half of just, you know, placing the jewels and gems. After an hour and a half, you should have something that looks like this. And if you're curious on how many jewels we used, we almost used everything in one pod right there, but there's still plenty of jewels left. I have it out of focus right now so y'all can see how it actually like glistens right here. Cause that's how, that's how it's looking in person. But when I show it in focus, 
it doesn't really show the gems glistening, right? So this is how it is. I got no crazy lights on me, just normal, normal ceiling lights. And that's how it goes, right? Let me show you guys how it is when we're in focus. In focus, still glistening a little bit. But I was just trying to show you guys the actual effect. This isn't typically me, man. Like I don't really like that, that bust down look or the diamond look, but if you guys want your fittings to look a little different, hey, this might be the move for you. And you can get real creative with it. You could do little designs on the side, maybe like little hearts, little stars. You could do the back, you could do the ball. Like you could get real crazy with it. This is one that I customized. I just uh, painted the bill, did the side, did the ball. I like this one. This one's like my favorite hat. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button for your boy. And if you'd like to see more fitted content, I can definitely make some more. Don't forget to shop on the website, shopsotopia.com if you guys wanna purchase anything. Christmas season is coming up. Check out all my custom goods that I have on there. I got sales running, and I also have sneakers for sale on there as well. Catch y'all very soon for the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, like the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys for the next one. I'm out. Peace.